even Ronald Reagan couldn't win today. Even Jimmy Carter could win. Hollywood would help him, of course. And the New York legacy media, of course, like the New York Times. I mean, it's now owned by a Mexican billionaire named Carlos Slim, who favors open borders. Of course they're against Trump. Add to that the universally liberal Silicon Valley elite, Eric Schmidt, the boss of Google, who positively offered in writing to build Hillary Clinton's campaign website, or Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook's boss, who asked the Clinton campaign if he could get more involved with them. And then there's Twitter, whose boss, Jack Dorsey, is a leading supporter of the Democratic Party's shock troops, Black Lives Matter. Yeah, even Ronald Reagan would lose today, I tell you that. But maybe Donald Trump is big enough and bad enough and rough enough and tough enough to win. Maybe he has caused the media mainstream to become so unhinged that they've overplayed their hand. Maybe, for example, calling Trump literally Hitler again and again starts to lose its effect. People are numb to it. They realize they're being played. Maybe enough people found out about WikiLeaks on their own, found out about Donald Trump on a YouTube video, watched a speech that the mainstream media didn't air. Maybe... Maybe, could be, I hope so. I see stadiums full of Trump supporters. There's no doubt they have enthusiasm and there is no grassroots love for Clinton as there was for Obama, especially in 2008. First woman as president doesn't have the same ring to it as first black man. Obama was a symbol of reconciliation 150 years after slavery, after the civil rights movement. Clinton is a symbol of what? Of one woman's entitlement? One woman's demand that it's her turn? Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.